Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to solve couple problems which are going to be useful for your laboratory class. Both problems are going to be about conversions. So first problem, metric conversions complete the following. So 1 microliters equal to 1000 microliters. 10 microliters is going to be 0 0.010 milliliters and 100 microliters is going to be 0 0.1 milliliter. Next one, one microliter is going to be 0 0.001 milliliter and 20 microliters is going to be 0 0.020 milliliters and two milliliters are going to be 2000 microliters. And here's the second problem. Put the following volumes in order from largest to smallest. There are two approaches here, whether we can convert all numbers into microliters or into milliliters, so we would be able to compare them. Let's first uh, do conversion to microliters. So 2.5 milliliters is going to be 2000 500 microliters. Next go 250 microliters, then again we have a number in milliliters. So in order to say how much is going to be in microliters, we have to move this decimal point one, two, three places to the right. And we are going to get here 25 microliters. So this number stands for 25 microliters. And the last one is 2.5 microliters. We don't have to convert. So now we have uh, converted all numbers in microliters and now we can compare them. So the biggest number here is 2.5 milliliters. Next we have 250 microliters. Next one comes um, 0 0.025 milliliters and the last one is going to be 2.5 microliters. Now let's convert in variant B all numbers in milliliters. For example 100 microliters is going to be 0 0.1 milliliter and 250 microliters is going to be 0 0.250 milliliters. And as you see, the biggest number here is going to be 250 microliters. Next one is going to be 100 microliters, which equal to 0 0.1 milliliter. And then next one is going to be 0 0.015 milliliters, 0 0.015 15 milliliters and the last one is going to be 0 0.01 milliliters. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.